What to do, y'all? Right, it's your boy Rich, Rich aka on, Rich right? Poppy, aka the flyest one. I got a driver who was on the load, right? Um, Lando. He was on the load going to Richmond, Virginia. So he needed fuel. So he texted me in the middle of the night. I got a text at 4 50 in the morning. Mind you, I'm asleep. Why would so you text I me, man? I hear the text. So when I seen the text when I woke up at 7 o'clock in the morning, um, I, immediately, I immediately called my driver and I said, hey, what's going on? You low on fuel? He said, yeah. I said, okay, well, you ain't called me. You should have called me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not up 24 hours. So I didn't hear my text in my sleep, so you should have called me. So I said, uh, where your fuel level at? He said, it's on red. What? I said, great hit red or below red? He said, below red. I said, Hold I on. was pissed. You're driving and you're below red? First, I tell my drivers all the time, do not let the truck get on red, period. Don't do it. Now, this truck he took didn't have a fuel card in there, right? So he doesn't have a fuel card and he's driving. Mind you, where he got to go to my yard, it's another two hours. Two hours so away. So he's just peacefully, peacefully driving to my yard two hours and the truck is below red. How are you going to get back? Like on EE -E and have no concern. So if I wouldn't have called him, he would have still continued driving. I said immediately go to the next field station. Right now. Immediately. I said, what are you doing? I tell y'all all the time, do not let the truck get that low. If I do not respond back to the text because it's 4.50 a.m. in the morning, I got to get some rest too. Call me. Just call my phone. So next thing you know, five minutes later, I get a call. I'm broke down. What should I do? Oh my God. I say, what you mean you broke down? You ran out of gas, right? Yes, I ran out of gas. Where are you at? Um, he's in front of the field station and it broke down. I can't make I this I said, up. well, you got to figure it out, man. So you're going to have to get some field cans, dump the field in there, and prime the truck. So... He got, I sent, I sent them some money because he don't have fuel cars, mind you. So he dumped it in there and he never primed the truck before. So I had to walk him do that. So he um, primed the truck, got the truck started, boom. So he drove back to um, my yard. So I had to load right after that. So my driver got there probably about 20 minutes after my driver um, left. My driver calls me and say, hey, this truck is on EE, -E, like red. But I'm going to go um, put fuel in it. So he said, I'm going to try to make it. So he starts the truck up, drives. As he, enter, as he exits out my yard, truck shut off. Call me, say, hey, truck shut off, ran out of fuel. God dang. I said, this can't be true. So I rushed down to him, um, grabbed some fuel tanks, filled it up with fuel. I had like 20 gallons, dumped it in the truck, primed the truck. We got it started, and we drove down to the um, fuel station so he could get fuel, fill up the truck. As we get to the fuel station, turn off the truck, fill up the truck completely. Guess what? Lando. Oh, we primed it and started the truck completely. Truck will not stay on. It cut on, and then it, it stay on for about a minute, and then it cut off. So we primed it. Hold on, let me show you. For those that don't know, you gotta put diesel right here. That's the fuel filter, y'all. Gotta put diesel in this, right? And then to prime the truck, it's right here. This pump right here. This pump, you gotta push it up and down, up and down, up and down. Up keep and down. pumping. Your hand might start hurting, but keep going. Until it get tight, until it get hard, so it can't no pump homo. no more. That's how you pump. That's how you prime. So we did that. Truck started again, and then it stayed on for about another minute, and then it cut off. So um, as I was priming it, the fuel level got low. So I dumped fuel in here. Primed it again several times. Just kept pumping and pumping until it got hard. No homo. Started the truck up, act like it wanted to drive, and 
now it's not staying on. So I've been at this fill station. I'm at uh, Exxon. I've been here for three hours. God damn. My mechanic is on the way. <laughs> so he's been telling me he's been on the way for about three hours. That's cat. All right, job. My mechanic is here. Four hours later. Let's see what happened, man. Let's pray. Let's pray. All right, so he's looking over the truck. So he's priming the truck right now. Keep on popping, y'all. That hand might hurt. Alright, let me see that. What is Start it? Floor. Start the floor. Yeah. Alright, what you doing? We're gonna spray it in here? Yep. Alright, alright. Spray the starter floor in your filter. If your mechanic don't have a cigarette in his mouth, he not a real mechanic. Alright y'all, so I'm starting the truck. Continue to prime the truck and spray starter fluid. Don't stop. Yo, I don't know what he's talking about. I ain't paying him no mind. Alright, so the truck started right up, but it's going to cut off in a few seconds. Shout out to Mr. Earl, he's one of the best mechanics in the world, by the way. Hey, it look like he dancing, he got a little groove going on, yo. <laughs> he gotta be listening to some music in them headphones. The truck won't stay started. You know what just happened? What happened is fuel came out, fuel cap, O ring was missing, and leaving the pressure. So when you put it back on, put the O ring on, and it build up the pressure. All right, y'all. The reason why my truck will not stay on is because when I took the cap off the fuel filter, I had to dump the diesel in the filter and prime the truck. The old ring fell off the cap. I didn't know. So I put the cap back on without an o ring and the truck was losing pressure. I had to go to the store and buy an o ring and I put that on the cap. I put the cap back on the filter. I um, screwed the cap on and the truck stayed on because it was not losing pressure. All this could have been avoided. This is something that is stressful because you talk to your drivers, they don't get it, but it is what it is. I got my truck started, we back on the road getting money, let's go. Make sure y'all like, follow, and subscribe. Ghost Runners, baby.